sign. Listen for an actual commitment of support. Not something that may sound like one, but really isn't. Politicians are very good at leaving you with a good feeling from a meeting without ever saying exactly where they stand on an issue. So you have to ask. If you want them to co-sponsor a bill, ask them. Will you co-sponsor H.R. 123? If you want them to vote yes for or against a bill, ask them, politely, but ask them. And then it's equally important to listen for what the member or staff person says. A lot of times they'll give you a very general answer. We'll look into it, or, or I think that might be something that we can support. Let us look into it. If you can get a specific commitment, that's important. And if you get one, make sure that you understand exactly what that commitment is, that you thank them for it, and that you write it down so that when you're going back later, you know what they've said and, uh, and you can follow up with it. You may hear something like, uh, thanks for bringing that to my attention, or I'll take that under advisement, or even, I agree with you on that issue. But none of those are yes. What you have to walk away with if you're looking for it is an affirmative yes. Yes, I will support you on this issue. It's important to listen for that commitment of support because as soon as you get it, you can thank the legislator for it and then you can follow up based on that. And offer to have your Washington staff get back in touch with them to make sure that uh, they get your name on the dotted line, they get your co-sponsorship on a bill, that, uh, that the details are handled by the staff. And that's what we're here to do and we'll take it from there.